Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Tuesday, January the 11th, 2021, and this is episode 3710. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, The Reason. Stay tuned. The reason. What is the reason you do and I do what we do? Now, the reason is important. And Jesus had something to teach about this to his disciples in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, beginning in verse 1. Let me read it to you. Then Jesus spoke to the multitudes and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Therefore, whatever they tell you to observe, that observe and do. But do not do according to their works, for they say and do not do. Did you get that? Listen to what they say, observe and do, but don't do according to what they do because they say and do not do. For they bind heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them to with one of their fingers, but all their works they do to be seen by men. They make their phylacteries broad and enlarge the borders of their garments. They love the best places at feasts, the best seats in the synagogues, greetings in the marketplaces, and to be called by men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But you do not be called Rabbi, for one is your teacher, the Christ. And you are all brethren. Do not call anyone on earth your father. For one is your father who is in heaven. And do not be called teachers. For one is your teacher, the Christ. But he who is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whoever exalts himself will be humbled and he who humbles himself will be exalted. The reason. What is the reason that the Pharisees and the scribes did what they did? It was to be seen of men. What is our reason as believers to be? It is to be a servant. One of the marks or characteristics of God's kingdom is that it is completely opposite earthly kingdoms. So with the way our world operates, there's a lot of social hierarchy, right? Like you can attain social status that sets you apart from others. You can become powerful and others will want to serve you. In our world, people work hard to get power and control. Sometimes it can be by force or by coercion or just a culture that is all about celebrity and popularity or wealth and status and fame and likes and shares, right? Well, Jesus says the kingdom of heaven is the complete opposite. If you want to be great in the kingdom of heaven, you're going to get there by serving. That's the reason. If you want to rule in God's kingdom, you rule by serving. You take care of others. You prefer others. That's why Jesus called his disciples to serve one another, to care for the orphans and the widows and the weak, to be a a voice for the homeless and stand up for children and women, to release the oppressed. That's the message of the gospel. That's the reason that we live today is to be servants. We're here to serve. 
Now, you may have a leadership responsibility, but remember, you lead through serving. Just like Jesus, wash each other's feet, take care of one another, look for opportunities to serve. You're never more like Jesus than when you're serving. Father, help us today to serve you and to serve others. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great Tuesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.